Hey, good morning. My name is Zach, and I'm one of the pastors here at New Hope. And, uh, you know, over these last few weeks, these last couple weeks, we've been talking about bless um, for a model of how we share the gospel with people. And if we, if we think through this, Randy's already talked to us about beginning with prayer. That's the B. Um, which I think they kind of had to make fit, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> listen to their story. Listen to the person's story. That's L. Uh, and then we said eat with them. Those are the three we'd already gone over thus far. Um, the last two, though, are kind of interesting. Uh, that second to last one, that's, that's serve. The first S is serve with them. I think that there's something really awesome about when you get to serve with people. This last week, uh, Thursday, on Thursday, uh, our unofficially titled Pigs and Blankets uh, event was fun. I'm going to keep saying it. Um, <laughs> and we, uh, we got to put together, tie together blankets, which took way longer than Randy had anticipated, but that's okay. It was really good, and I loved it. Um, and we're going to give those to the Little Red Door Cancer Society and, and help some people out with those blankets. But it was awesome to get to serve alongside brothers and sisters because something happens when you help other people together. That You grow together. You know each other better. It's like we're fighting on the same side. We're fighting for the same cause. And there's something powerful in that. So even when you're talking to somebody that maybe doesn't even know Jesus yet, most people are still all about helping people. And so that's a good way to bridge that gap, get to know each other better, and grow together. And the last S is share the gospel, right? It's kind of weird that it would come last, right? But all those other things are building a relationship. All those other things that come before sharing the gospel here, it's getting to know the person you're talking with. Because generally, you want to know the person you're talking to. You want, you want to be trusted, right? You don't want to just be some person shouting them from a street corner. I remember going to Ball State back in the day and a guy just standing on the street corner yelling that we were all going to hell. And that doesn't help anybody. But when you get to know people and you're, and you're telling them, like you're showing them your heart and that they're showing you theirs and you're, you're getting together and then you go, hey, listen, I care about you and I want you to know something that means a lot to me and it should mean a lot to you. Can I, can I talk to you about the gospel? Do you know about Jesus? Do you, what's your relationship with him like? Build that relationship, and that'll open that door to share the gospel. I'm not saying there aren't times when you should just share the gospel with a stranger. There are totally times for that. But build those relationships. Get to know people. Tell, tell them about Jesus. Now, if you recall last week, I talked about something called the 139 method. Y'all got your three? This is your check-in. I'm checking in. You got your three people that you're going to share the gospel with? Be thinking about that. Be thinking about that. Don't put this off because I'm going to keep annoying you about this like as long as I possibly can because this is important. This is super important, but it's hard to think about, you know, who should I reach out to? So I'm going to say this. Start with the people you already know. Don't think of missionary work as going out and meeting some stranger and then doing all this and building a relationship with them. Start with the people you know. We need to tell everybody. We need to tell strangers too. But, but there are people in your lives right now that you've already got relationship with. You already know well. And a lot of times it's harder to talk to them about these matters. But start working on them. Start listening to their story. Start eating with them. Start investing in them. Find opportunities to work together for the common good, right? And then share the gospel with these people. And if you don't know where to start, here's the advice I, I'm using personally from a friend of mine, and then I told my small group about it, and I think we're going to try and start implementing this as a daily rhythm in our lives. But here's what I want you to consider doing. I asked you to find two people in this church to hold you accountable to this task, right? Keep you accountable, sharpen you, help grow together. And then I said, think of three people that you could disciple. That's five people. So what I want you to do is consider thinking of those five people, praying for each of them for five minutes apiece. That's 25 minutes of prayer. That's a lot of prayer for some of us. But in the grand scheme of things, that's nothing. 25 minutes of prayer. So five people, five minutes each, for five days out of the week, for five weeks. That's 25 days of prayer for those five people. And I promise you, you will be amazed at the results you see. When you invite God into your life to start taking the wheel and start bringing people to you, 
Say, I, I, I want these people to know Jesus. I want these people to know you, Lord. He will soften their hearts, but we got to believe it. We got to go to him in prayer. We start there. And then let's go get those three people. So let's bless people. This is how we're going to bring them the gospel, but get thinking about those three people. And understand this. Remember we said you don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to be a biblical scholar. you got to be one step ahead of the next guy. That's it. you got to have one thing you can teach them. And every day, that means you got to learn something new so you can teach them something new the next day. If we could all just learn one thing every day, we would be amazed how far we'd come in a year, two years, three years, four years. Then you would be biblical scholars, every one of us. Let's start there. The little things, let them build up. And let's start sharing the gospel. Thanks for tuning in to the New Hope Church podcast. If you would do us a favor and like or subscribe on your favorite platform, we would really appreciate it. Also, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at questions at becomehope.com. Have a great week and know that we are praying for you as you seek to be Jesus in every corner of your world. Thank you.